Hello dear friends welcome to IFS we are here to uh, witness yet another uh, journey towards success uh, her name is uh, Meena Shri Kannari and she has qualified CSR net JRF with an all india rank of 61 and we are very proud of her uh, proud of her efforts and uh, today we are going to uh, we are going to talk about her journey through uh, this uh, CSR net preparation okay uh, hello veena welcome to ifs hello right. sir. thank you so uh, veena let's start by uh, let's start by uh, like knowing about your uh, csr net journey so how did you decide how do you come to know about uh, the csr net exam or uh, did someone inspire you to uh, you know qualify the csr net exam ha sir uh, when i was in msc um, actually one of our teachers said that you will be having some opportunities to do research or uh, to do research uh, there will be some shortest paths no uh, to reach that uh, research opportunity in a easy way you'll be having some exams that is case it uh, i am from karnataka sir uh, there will be some exams that is case it gate and yes csir net then i came to know that oh there will be such kind of exams and uh, when i completed my msc mm-hmm. one of my teachers referred this ifs institute will be good uh, to guide you or just that, that much okay 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 and like were you always interested in science like did you want to pursue uh, research later on or teaching later on teaching sir i always interested in teaching okay but okay. somehow i got the rank <laughs> <laughs> not somehow i am sure i have observed you work very hard so i i know that you have worked very hard to reach where you are right now okay uh, so once you decided that you want to uh, prepare for csr net uh, how did you go about uh, your journey like uh, uh, how did you uh, did you study on your own or what did you do uh, sir actually uh, after my msc there was pandemic Uh, my second year uh, throughout went in online classes only mm-hmm. then um, i got some time uh, my professors are, were also good mm-hmm. but the thing they taught us only theory part mm-hmm. but i don't know any application part mm-hmm. i was uh, very poor in solving the questions <coughs> in csir net or any um, what i call uh, the competitive exams sir right. but right. when i came to ifs along with the theory they also teach us how to apply how mm-hmm. to apply the concepts in solving the questions right and that how that i have this uh, coaching institute has helped me mm-hmm. so uh, this is a very interesting uh, question that i have right now that uh, since the pandemic i uh, you uh, immediately after your msc the pandemic hit uh, india and uh, most of the education after that for the last 2 years has been in the online platform okay whereas you were uh, here in the pune branch and you were uh, a student of our offline uh, class and uh, so uh, based on your experiences what would you recommend students like uh, should they uh, should they study uh, should they go for an online coaching or should they go for an offline coaching if they decide to uh, enroll okay sir uh, of course there will be uh, if if we take a kind of system there will be merits and demerits for that a uh, particular system online there will be some merits and demerits offline also some merits and demerits the merits of online will be flexibility uh, right. if we are in the working stage or mm-hmm. if we are um, joining the coaching during the msc mm-hmm. online will be better right. during msc mm-hmm. after msc the demerits of online system will be some always there will be some di- distractions in home mm-hmm. Uh, if my mother calls during the online class i have to go <laughs> right, uh, right. these kind of demerits will be there and coming to offline the i think the offline system is better although it um, uh, it contains some demerits the only demerits about uh, of offline system is staying away from home the first demerit and uh, people from different states also visit the coaching institute no the language it will be one of the obstacle for them they have to face this is one, another demerit right but 
there will be no such distraction sir in offline system right it, what happens in online system mean uh, whenever we get doubts there will be no one to solve them mm-hmm. uh, there will be no one to uh, what uh, clarify those doubts but in offline faculty will be near to us right. whenever we get the doubt whatever we get the doubt mm-hmm. we can reach them easily we can approach them easily and those right. doubts will be cleared at that time only mm-hmm. this, this is one of the the best de- uh, the best merit of the offline system correct right right yeah and I, i absolutely agree with you on the fact that there are both merits and demerits of uh, the online system as well as the offline system and uh, uh, you you said it exactly the uh, uh, exactly what i uh, feel that the online uh, system is good for students who uh, have that discipline and uh, who can stay away from distractions <coughs> and who would like that flexibility that they can uh, you know study from their home but uh, the offline system is a better system because um, there uh, you can always approach your teachers your teachers are always right there in front of you uh, in case you have any doubts whatsoever okay and uh, you said that uh, one of the demerits of the offline thing is uh, staying away from your home but i'm sure that you also enjoyed uh, staying away from your home uh, so uh, but i would like to know that uh, like to know how your experience was like i'm sure that there are a lot of ups and downs when you are staying away from your home you you don't have your uh, immediate family your parents to look after you but you make a different family also in the uh, in the new environment so how was your experience uh, regarding this how did you keep yourself motivated throughout this journey okay sir uh, after msc um, just after the one month of my msc i joined i came to know about ifs and i have joined ifs i don't know the language except kannada and english i oh, didn't okay. uh, even know a single word of hindi and that was uh, very difficult to me to survive there initially right. sir right. um and uh, yeah leaving family that is also a difficult part mm-hmm. new people new place new faculty the only old thing which i know was chemistry there mm. uh Yes, sir. Uh, it uh, it took time for me also to adjust to that faculty. Of course, the faculty was good. Uh, before MS, uh, in my MSc, I was adjusted to some kind of faculty, mm-hmm. and here I should adjust to some kind of faculty. No, correct, correct. that's why it it I took time to get adjust over there. Correct. Um, yeah, and my friends coming to my friends. there was no friends uh, we came to ifs uh, i came together with, uh, with my friends sir actually karnataka friend mm-hmm. so it wasn't that much difficult to make friends like that right even when i went to some shops i was used to communicate with them with the actions because mm-hmm. i don't know anything in hindi or marathi yeah correct right, correct right. but then uh, how uh, how did you cope with this like for example most of the classes were in uh, hindi uh, the notes were in english obviously but then uh, like did you end up learning hindi i uh, how what what um, happened with this in, uh, hmm. um uh, during pandemic i i was used to uh, li- uh, i used to uh, listen to some online th- that is youtube uh, channels uh, right. hindi classes sir Mm-hmm. Uh, I can understand Hindi, but I can't speak Hindi. Oh, that was okay. a benefit uh, that I understood the uh, Hindi language mm-hmm. because that uh, teaching will be Hindi. Teaching right. will be in Hindi, no? Right. Yeah, all right. the classes. Right. Yeah, that was the benefit, and uh, my friends used to um, uh, mock at me. Uh, you don't know Hindi, and some used to say, "How cute you speak." Hindi. Uh, slowly i learned some a few words i can manage now i can manage sir not right. the difficult words i can manage yes but it was it was uh, good that you were able to understand him because uh, i i know yes. that about languages that uh, the moment you listen to a particular language for a long time you will be able to uh, understand most of the things especially uh, if it's a classroom then uh, most of the uh, not most of the all the terms are in english so usually that uh, doesn't become too much of a barrier 
but you just have to get used to it you are absolutely right that it's not just the uh, the language of course you had to get used to but also the faculties i mean every faculty has their unique way of teaching and uh, you have to get used to it uh, but i'm sure that once you are used to it you once you understand the way they go about uh, the subject uh, i'm sure that it must have been uh, manageable I, i i don't know whether it was easy or thought but let's say manageable like this yeah yeah it okay. was another thing sir uh, yeah, initially i wo- i wasn't getting hindi no well mm-hmm. so whenever i asked the faculty to please uh, repeat the same thing in english they were used to repeat the same thing in english sir. yeah yeah because i i know that this is this is my habit i i i can completely understand that language is uh, uh, it's not exactly a barrier but uh, students often uh, feel uh, or they they are not confident that they will still understand so which is why we used to i, I have this habit of uh, repeating everything once in english uh, so that no one really feels out of place but good uh, that that was a, actually a, a very interesting experience because uh, a lot of students are uh, always anxious about how they will cope with the languages but i i have uh, always seen like a lot of my friends were bengali and i uh, because when i was uh, staying with them i learned bengali so i can't speak it very fluently but i can understand what they are talking about you can understand sir. okay so yes, yes absolutely uh, uh another thing that i would like to know is um, how did you stay away from uh, social media distractions like that in in this age uh, social media is uh, something that ends up uh, eating away a lot of our time so how do you manage that okay sir frankly speaking i am not that much interested in social media sir ah, okay <laughs> uh, um in whatsapp also i was totally inactive um uh, uh i can share the one of the incidents um one day what happened uh, uh, nadin sir ha- has told i'll take the class tomorrow mm-hmm. and uh, i was getting ready to attend the class i was going to class at 12 Uh, um, uh, around 12 and one girl stopped me and asked where are you going and i uh, i told him i told her that i am uh, i am going to attend uh, nadin sir class didn't you uh, and uh, she said that didn't, uh, didn't you see the message what message i saw uh, i said uh, then i opened my whatsapp then only <laughs> and i came to know that uh, he put the message okay there is no class today for some uh, circumstances Right, uh, right there will be no class today then i came to know they, there was no class she, uh, she had a weird look at me yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah sir this uh, this kind of in, uh, this kind of in, uh, incident has happened more sir to me <laughs> so i i can completely understand that like uh, right now because of work i have to uh, i am always attentive towards whatsapp but when i am at home uh, when i am with my family i don't even know what's going on in the world so i am exactly like you you know shivam sir uh, shivam sir is also exactly like this uh, we almost never check our whatsapp messages uh, whenever we are doing something <laughs> so i can completely understand and we are a very rare species i think in this world that we stay away from uh, whatsapp uh, and in general the social media as well okay sir sir another incident shall i Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, absolutely. Yeah, sir. Uh, actually, I installed my Instagram um, mm. during the pandemic. During pandemic, mm. I installed my Instagram, and I never opened it after the uh, after the beginning of MSc classes. Mm. Uh, when I came to Pune, I was studying, studying, and I felt bored. I felt mm. bored and opened my phone and uh, opened the Instagram. Mm. Uh, I didn't know that I have spent 15 to 20 minutes on Instagram. <laughs> After uh, spending the time, I I, um, I, uh, I had a look on the time. Oh, I shocked that I had spent 20 minutes on Instagram, and the next moment I have uninstalled, sir. Mm-hmm. Because I am uh, I thought that um, I am wasting some time. unnecessary things i felt on that time so uh, at the next moment i have uninstalled it and now after the csir i have again installed the instagram you again installed okay okay right this is again i i i completely relate to your experience because i i go through the same phase 
uh, once in a while so there are a certain games that i like to play and i install them i play them and uh, two or three days later i realize how much time i have spent on them and i immediately uninstall them so yes absolutely i mean uh, being aware of where our time goes is very very important uh, in order to uh, in order to focus on your goal and in order to work towards your goal so absolutely i completely agree with you on this point and uh, lastly one uh, important thing that i want to ask you is uh, how does your family now feel uh, about uh, your success like before when you are preparing and as compared to that as compared to uh, the now that you have your results in your hand how what has changed in your life um initially there was some tension to me and my family also sir how how, how her life goes or um, what op- opportunities she will get there were some kind of tension in the house but once i cleared the exam that tension level has uh, reduced a bit sir not to not completely reduced uh, reduced a, a bit that can, uh, and the people are also admiring me and the, uh, as i said the people at the working place also admiring me sir mm-hmm. right right that's that's uh, great and how do you feel like uh, how do you feel about yourself now now that you have qualified the exam uh actually my uh i thought to clear my csir in order to enter into teaching sir mm-hmm. my aim was not at all research to some get teaching opportunities or to some get uh, government exams cleared right. uh, that kind of mindset was uh there for me mm-hmm. but once clearing everyone are suggesting that uh, better you go to research you have knowledge you have that uh, um, applicable mind why do you why are you choosing this teaching uh, field you can yeah. go to that uh, research yeah. field and you can also enjoy that field also mm-hmm. that actually i am feeling some dilemma sir now mm-hmm. i mean dilemma No, of course whenever you get more than one options you are always in a dilemma but uh, uh, yeah i i am sure that you will make a good decision here and there is no right decision i always keep saying that there is no correct decision here uh, you should always go with your gut feeling you should always go with your instinct and uh, uh, you will you will realize that what you want to do with your life you already know so once you make that decision uh, you will always uh, definitely feel much better Yes, and I'm confident that uh, it will work it itself out. So don't worry. Uh, so I understand that what you are saying is your tension is reduced only slightly. So I understand why <laughs> that uh, that is still there. Uh, yes, the tension yeah. is still there. Okay, but I'm sure that uh, don't worry. This decision making uh, decision making is part of the process, and I'm sure that you will uh, make a good decision and you will be happy with it uh, in your life. Okay. So thank you so much for joining us uh, Veena and sharing your experiences uh, I am sure that all of the CSR net aspirants who uh, who are uh, linked with us uh, I am sure that they will they must have learned a lot from your experiences also Okay so thank you so much for sharing your experiences and uh, for all the CSR net aspirants out there uh, we we will keep bringing more such podcasts for you uh and we will we will meet many other success stories uh and uh, we ourselves will get inspired to achieve success in our life okay so thank you for joining us in this uh, podcast and until next time goodbye and happy learning